Botswana. More than half a million square kilometers and 2.5 million inhabitants, a thinly spread rural population over large spaces. To build and maintain an electrical grid in these circumstances is a great challenge. At the same time, to provide access to clean, sustainable and cheap energy is vital to guarantee the well-being of rural communities, farms, homes and businesses. Up until now, the main source of energy for domestic use in the rural world is firewood. We use wood to cook, for heating and for lighting. Finding that wood is an odious process, however. People have to move it, find it and transport it back home, all of which isn't always easy nor safe, a task mostly done by women and children taking up to three hours of their day. The use of wood also comes with risks. The smoke in rural kitchens can be harmful to our health, and wood fire can be dangerous if left unattended. Why not search for energy that is cleaner, safer, and just as sustainable? In Botswana, there's something that thrives. Kettle. One of Africa's largest producers of kettle, we live in precisely the areas where access to energy becomes more complex. But what do kettle have to do with energy? As it turns out, organic matter is an endless source of energy. If we ferment any organic residue under certain circumstances, we obtain gas. And if we manage to store that gas and ensure its supply to our homes, farms and factories, we give rural communities access to a clean, renewable, safe and abundant energy source. With support from the United Nations Development Programme, the Botswana Institute for Technical Research and Innovation and the Ministry of Environment have started a pilot project designed to test energy solutions out of this biogas from use as cooking and heating in small farms to electricity generating in medium and large industries. Botswana are people with cows and uh, we are leveraging from the waste generated by the cows and the chickens and the pigs so that they can generate gas and use gas for cooking and lighting. People are aware that um, cow dung can be utilized. Um, it's not a waste. So we can leverage from that and say, since people, it, it's easy for Botswana to work with cow dung, um, mix it and mix it with soil to harden the houses when they are building and stuff like that. We, we, are, we are using cow dung every day. Let's use it for biogas production now. The idea is to develop, test and improve on this biogas reactor technology and make it readily accessible for Botswana's rural communities. With digesters being set up and working in these areas, Beatrice technicians analyze data over the reactor's design, construction and use. Inspired by the proven success of this technology in other countries, Beatrice have adopted designs to the needs of Botswana's rural environment. UNDP is interested in promoting sustainable development, in looking at climate change issues, in looking at preserving the environment. So through this project, we are looking at waste management, agricultural waste management, and using that waste as a resource. I heard about it in the radio. So I was wondering, but how is it possible to, where to get that from? Since I wasn't so much aware about it, I wasn't so much knowing what really biogas is. And they are interested in putting their project here at my home. On the 25th of July, 2017, they brought all the staff. That's when the building of biogas commenced. And by December, believe me when it was Christmas holiday, me with my children here, we were all happy because we were now having the biogas at home. It's a relatively simple process. Biogas is produced when organic material is eaten by bacteria that break it down in the absence of air in a closed oxygen-free environment. From this biological process, methane is produced. Methane, which we can use to power our stoves, generate heat and lighting, and at a larger scale, produce electricity.
I know the time to come back to prepare tea for my mother because I don't have to fetch firewood. I don't have to start thinking, where am I going to start? I know when I have got gas, then life is easier.